It is a day of great loss, but Queen Elizabeth II leaves a great legacy. Today, the crown passes, as it has done for more than a thousand years, to our new monarch, our new head of state, His Majesty King Charles III. With the King's family, we mourn the loss of his mother. And as we mourn, we must come together as a people to support him, to help him bear the awesome responsibility that he now carries for us all. We offer him our loyalty and devotion, just as his mother devoted so much to so many for so long. And with the passing of the second Elizabethan age, we usher in a new era in the magnificent history of our great country, exactly as Her Majesty would have wished, by saying the words, God save the King. Prince Charles, you thought you could let Andrew fall for you. That's what the elites, or the puppet masters, wanted to save you. You let your brother take a fall so you could stay safe. Charles, you are not. Truth I have declared, and you will also be stripped of your power. I will say this again. You will never have the royal crown, no matter how bad you wanted it or how close you came to it. I am moving my hand against you. Diana's name will be vindicated. Charles, you helped with the coup in my nation, and the whole world will know it. You will fall and never get back up and regain your power. You are just another arrogant pharaoh. How you harden your heart against me, and you will fall as a pharaoh of old, and your end will be seen, saith the Lord of hosts. Saith the Lord of hosts. Saith the Lord of hosts. But Charles, don't you will not get that crown, no matter what, even if you followed their instructions and went through with it. Big Ben will be your sign. You are going down for the one world government and their great reset. You are your own mother's murderer. But Charles, don't you will not get that crown, no matter what. But Charles, don't you will not get that crown, no matter what. Well, here we are, September 8th, 2022. You heard false prophetess Julie Green once again with video and audio confirmation as she dated uh, these two video clips that I showed. You both were from February of 2022. You heard her loud and clear. Here's the insider title. King Charles III is the oldest person to become king in British history at age 73. Here is a little bit about what the article says. With Queen Elizabeth II's death on Thursday, King Charles III has now become the oldest person in British history to be king at the age of 73. Today, the crown passes as it has done for more than a thousand years to our new monarch, our new head of state, His Majesty, King Charles III. It's the uh, UK Prime Minister Liz Truss, as you heard her at the beginning. But here we are, another documented, absolute false prophecy from Julie Green, who has spoken nothing more than her vain imaginations that came from her own heart. You know, I often wonder how these false prophets can live with themselves doing these false prophecies day after day after day after day as they get on social media and lie in the name of Jesus Christ, as they travel to different venues across the country at the expense of brainwashed followers who fund their travels through donations, and again, they lie in the name of Jesus Christ. There is zero fear of the living God before these people. It is astonishing. One of the sickest things, if you can get past the false prophecy thing, is that even at the end of this clip, Miss Green said, 
that God said that Charles was his mother's own murderer. He wasn't thinking about it 30 or 40 years ago. No, no, he waited until Queen Elizabeth II was 96 and in frail, poor health. That's when apparently she's accusing Charles of murdering Queen Elizabeth II. It, it's absolutely repulsive. But the followers believe it. And again, you wonder why this woman was taken off YouTube. She has called down death on just about every democratic political leader in the United States. And uh, it, it doesn't stop there. It goes around the world with just crazy, unfounded and unhinged accusations of the deepest, most disturbing conspiracy. The, you can't even call these conspiracies. She has no foundation to make these accusations. This is all coming from her own imagination. Now, as I close this video in Matthew chapter 7, you start in verse 21. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name, and in thy name have cast out devils, and then in thy name done many wonderful works? And I will profess to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that worketh iniquity. These people... Not only the prophets, but boy, the followers had better awaken. Because if you support these false prophets that are falsely prophesying, and you can see a very specific result of things that are coming, things that will happen at judgment. If you're a supporter of these false prophets, what does that say about you? If the false prophets are working iniquity and you're supporting the ones who are working iniquity, where does that leave you? Have you no fear of the living God? Get right with the Lord. Stop following these absolute confirmed false prophets and serve the Lord Jesus Christ in truth and sincerity according to his good word the word of the Lord, our Holy Bible. 